Okay, so you can stay as long as you want on any of those. I've just uh, done this um, chord chart here to give you some idea. You can play these chords in different places. So basically, if we looked at this and analysed it, not that it's really that difficult to analyse, but this chord here, this first chord, can also be played down here. And in truth, you wouldn't really jump down here, from here, right down to here. I've just given you this chord chart to give you some indication of and some idea about how different chords, or should I say the same chords, can be played in different places and the different sounds that they create. So, you know, so we can go from here and down to here, or we can go from here, as you've already seen on the chords, uh, the charts, the previous charts. Play, you know, we can just come from here, standard one four five, then we can come to here, the standard one four five, as I've said, back to the first chord. Alternatively, what we can do, we can instead of starting here, we can start here, but we're playing our B chord down here, is our root note. If you're playing this one, this chord, uh, here's our root note, if you're playing this one. So it's the same chord, isn't it? Just played a different place. So what we could do, we'd start here. But, as I say, playing, you know, it's good to have an idea playing these chords in different places. This chord, even though it's the same chord as this chord, as you can hear it is, it sounds different because of the, the strings are played further down, closer to the neck, so you're getting a more open kind of sound. More resonance. Okay, so now, how can we uh, begin to make this sound a little bit more interesting? Because, you know, we're just playing chords, aren't we? Um, now I'm talking about playing specifically on your own here. You can, obviously if you're playing with a band, it's all made more interesting anyway, because there's a lot more going on. But if you were just playing solo on your own, playing the acoustic guitar, how can you make all that sound a little more interesting rather than just playing chords? Well, the way we do that is we pull out notes from the chords and the scales, particularly obviously the minor pentatonic scale and occasionally for me personally the major pentatonic scale. Um, so obviously there's a way of doing that and obviously there's some notes sound better than others. And this is what you need to decide for yourself. But obviously to, in order to do this you've got to get a good basic uh, understanding of the, uh, the chords and you've got to know those minor pentatonic scales. You've just got to know them, be able to play them easily, and then you can start to bring them in along with the chords. Okay, and I'm gonna show you how I do that, and you can, you know, try and take something from that and try to uh, move forward with that yourself and get that into your practice, and make your, um, your chord progression sound that little bit more interesting. Okay, so you can fill them up a bit. So I'm gonna show you now how I do that.
so um, to make it a little easier, we, could, we won't come down here. We can stay up here, can't we? Okay, so what am I doing exactly? Okay, well we're just playing over one, four, five, aren't we? As we know, we're already in the right position for that. So we just pull the notes out. to the beginning so it's nice and um, steady I say you can do that down here but it's probably easier for you to start up here and uh, what I'm doing basically I'm just keeping with the beat it's, you know the most important thing is to stay with the beat keep in time so even if you don't play anything it's got to be in time even silence has to be in time okay so it's really important so if you was just a So it, it's quite simple, sometimes it's better to play less. You know, I'm quite guilty of playing too much most of the time, to be honest with you. But um, this is the sort of thing you're trying to do. You're trying to, so you're trying, to, uh, you're trying to play the minor pentatonic along with the chords, picking notes out of the minor pentatonic, which are part of the chord anyway, because the chords come from the scales, don't they? So all them, they're all in the minor pentatonic, aren't they? With the exception of that one, which is in the major pentatonic. But it's also a blue note, so we'll minor pentatonic, major pentatonic, major pentatonic, because it's the f it's the second uh, pattern of the minor pentatonic scale, isn't it? Because the first pattern would be down here. the second pattern the things are already in the position aren't they really can you see that that thing is already in the position for the major pentatonic scale aren't they there's a, there's a dominant seventh okay put a little pinky on there bring the seventh in which is also Part of the minor pentatonic scale, isn't it? This is why it all fits, this is why blues is one of the easiest to play. Okay? 
that's the part of the monopentonic scale, isn't it? So we've got our fingers there, all in that one dominant chord, that first chord. I'm just strumming. And we just pull notes out, can't we? And the major pentatonic, we leave that middle finger where it is, on that, we're on that first dominant chord. That middle finger is in the perfect position to start our, our little lick, isn't it? Look. And that's a major, major pentatonic over that one dominant chord. we go to the four chord which is the second chord in the progression when we can start to then play the minor pentatonic more on this later but I'm going to put out the um, electric guitar for this I'm just touching the major pentatonic here So there we are. Um, but for the purpose of this, what we're trying to do here, we're just trying to embellish and make our chord progression a little more interesting. So we're just pulling a few notes out of the minor pentatonic scale and that major pentatonic, as I just showed you. I'm also plucking, okay, I'm just plucking. Then I just put the odd note in. I'll do this little run down. Okay, so on in this particular, uh, the way I look at it, we're here. There's our one chord. There's our four chord, and there's our five chord. All right, which is our third. So that little lick I do is in line with that third chord of that progression, which is the five chord. Okay, well, that so, chord. That sorry. Well, that lick is there. All the minor pentatonic that is, back to the one chord. Five chord. Minor pentatonic. So I'm just pulling notes out of the minor pentatonic chord as and when I feel I want to, and you'll get to find what sounds the best and what notes sound better at what time but you've got to play around with this stuff in order to get that if you just you know I can't show I can show you how to go about it but you've got to go and find it yourself to go and actually get the feeling of the music okay so as I say there we are now 
was going down here earlier, wasn't I? Which is relevant to this chart. Another thing what I was doing was sliding, wasn't it? You've got to practice this as well to get it okay. Alternating. Five cold. Then all I did there was played a little D up to the uh, F. I made this up, by the way. I, I've just made it up because it sounds. And back to the one call. as well. Little finger. Major pentatonic, minor pentatonic, a little slide just gives it a little bit of interest, doesn't it? It's got been time. Sonic one down. So, it's just messing around, playing around with a minor pentatonic as you're playing them chords. Wherever you are, it's the same thing. If you're playing in G, major pentatonic, minor pentatonic, uh, four, uh, four chords, sorry, second chord of the progression. Sorry, what am I doing?
So you're just messing around, you know, playing about with the minor pentatonic over those chords. But as I say, the key is, uh, pardon the pun, it's in any key, but the key is to keep in time. So as slow as you want. We're now in A. Okay, so we're just messing around, as I said, playing over those one, four, five chords and picking notes from the, the, the relevant minor pentatonic and occasionally the major pentatonic too. So happy practicing. See you in the next lesson. Thanks for watching.